I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So we're going to get into the Minnesota Vikings versus the New York Jets. Thursday injury report news is that pit bull, that big dog, that Tasmanian devil, Ivan Pace Jr. is back, will be back on the field. Call him what you want, but don't call him soft, you hear me? <laughs> and, of course, we got my week five pick. So with no further ado, no need to waste time. Let's get right into it, you hear me? Yeah, man. First up, we're going to look at this uh, Vikings Thursday report. Let's get into it. Uh, see what we got here. <sighs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Calm it down. Calm it down. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Hold on. Hold on. Vikings latest injury report looks much better for Ivan Pace Jr. <laughs> Heading into week five, London Showdown versus the Jets. The Minnesota Vikings are set to fly out to London, England, in hopes of improving their record to 5-0 and on the season against the New York Jets. Over the first four games, the Vikings have dealt with numerous injuries to, to starting players and have had said players miss a total of 10 games so far this season, and they still balling, and they still balling, dog. <laughs> Not a great start, but things are looking much better ahead of the Vikings' final game before the bye week. All right, let's get into it. Ivan Pace Jr. Sheen's season proves status. Hey, that's that's great news for the Vikings, dog. The Vikings released their Thursday injury report, and multiple players showed improvement. Ivan Pace, linebacker, inside linebacker, Ivan Pace, ankle full participant. Uh, Caleb Evans, uh, you know, he's been a special teams player, not a starter, no longer a starter, but he still contributes in the special teams area. Shout out to him. QB Sam Darnold, knee full participant. Shout out Sam Darnold. Glad his knee is 100% back and healthy. Wide receiver Brandon Powell, chest limited. Josh Oliver, wrist limited. I'm sure all these guys will be in the game Sunday versus them lost New York Jets. Even Brandon Powell and Josh Oliver. But Ivan Pace, the man of the hour. What we really got to speak on. Who we really got to speak on. You understand? Now, <laughs> shout out Kamu Grugier Hill. He's been playing outstanding, filling in for Ivan Pace Jr. And like I said in the last game, he is a better coverage linebacker, a better coverage linebacker in space than Ivan Pace Jr., I believe so. Now, no disrespect to Ivan Pace overall, better linebacker is Ivan Pace Jr., dog. That's why he is the starter. But you got to give big props to Kamul Grugier Hill. Shout out five folks. Shout out five folk. But you can't replace an Ivan Pace Jr., dog. Huh? Just his story, his journey alone, you got to respect it, what he fought through. They said he was too small. Kenny said he couldn't play in the NFL. Every team passed him up, dog, undrafted. The Vikings took a chance, saw something at him, <laughs> and he's and he's exceeded expectations so far, man. Now, of course, he got to continue to grow, get better, keep improving, and I believe he will do that. But after just his first season, he's already in the same bracket, same category as the likes of Fred Warner, the top linebackers in the lead, et cetera, et cetera, as a UDFA, as a rookie, dog. But his motor, crazy. <laughs> Athletic ability, crazy. You know, agility, crazy. Some of the ways he moves on the field and being undersized, so-called undersized, I'm sure it helps him achieve those certain moves, certain techniques, right? Speed, <laughs> football speed and 40 speed, however you want to say it. And we know his sideline to sideline speed. He can run down any running back, any quarterback, any tight end, get into the ball. He's like a weapon, a heat-seeking missile. He going to get there. He going to get there, dog. Give him the green dot. He's smart, intelligent, a smart player. The type of players that Brian Flores loves on his defense, Ivan Pace Jr. Here's that. He doesn't only have the athletic ability, right? He has the mental capability to, be, to, to have the green dot, call the defense, run the defense, huh? Be a leader on the defense. Put the guys in the right position. Recognize what's going on from the opposing team, dog. Can every can every linebacker do that? Can every player do that? Right, especially a young player of his caliber, only his second year in, man. But they talk about how crazy <laughs> little local Ivan Pace is, similar to Van Ginkle, right? Ivan Pace, you heard him say it. He talks about he loves contact. He just want to hit somebody. He just want to hit somebody, dog. You hear me? He want to play football, homie. Contact physical. I feel him on that. I dig him on that, man. And that's what he brings to the table week in, week out. <laughs> this really his first time dealing with an injury, right? Yeah, his whole throughout his whole football career, he never really dealt with injuries that kept him out. But this is just some adversity that I'm sure he he faced, has faced, and he faced it well, dog. 
He didn't pout, cry about it, stayed positive. No, he back on the field. But this is definitely a plus for the Minnesota Vikings, homie. Definitely a plus, dog. The Tasmanian devil is back. That's what they call him, allegedly. <laughs> but what he brings to the table, unmatched, irreplaceable, homie. Heavy, period. The dude loves playing football. He's great at playing football. A player you want on the field. Love to see him play. Everybody love to watch him play, dog. And as he continues to grow in his career, he's going to continue to get better. That's what's spooky about it, huh? He going to keep elevating and growing, dog. <laughs> he hasn't even reached a pinnacle yet. Reached his prime potential yet, dog. Heavy. So shout out Alvin Pace, man. Glad he's back on the field. Some of the things, some of his intangibles, his attributes, you can't coach, dog. A player either has it or doesn't. You hear me? He either got it or not. And guess what? Alvin Pace got it, homie. <laughs> so shout out RP, RP, man. Back on the field, ready to put that work in. I'm saying, dog, I'm saying. He one of them ones, one of them top guns, dog. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. Oliver and Powell stayed limited while Donald remained a full participant in practice. Oliver and Donald played after being on the injury report last week ahead of, ahead of their game against the Green Bay Packers. It was also good to see Evans practice after missing a day due to an illness. Getting pace back is important for the Vikings defense. Facts. He adds an element of quickness on the second level. Facts. Where he can maneuver through the A and B gaps to make plays on the quarterback and stop the running back in the hole. Yeah, quick. He gets to that hole quickly and swiftly. Quickly and swiftly. He is a weapon. Dog. Like I say, he is a true weapon that cannot be replaced, homie. <laughs> Heavy. The Jets, the lost Jets. The Jets have six players on the injury report this week, including right tackle Morgan Moses being ruled out. Okay, so that's that's beneficial to the Vikings. Injury suck, but that is beneficial to the Vikings, huh? Left tackle Tyrone Smith, not injury related, rest did not practice. CJ Mosley, linebacker, one of the starting linebackers limited. Right guard, Elijah Vera Tucker, Elijah Vera Tucker, ankle limited. D tackle, Lakeith full two, hamstring full, QB Aaron Rodgers knee full. So I'm pretty sure all these guys will be playing well besides Morgan Moses, whoever that is. But the rest of them, they'll be on the field, but it don't matter. Bring your A game, bring the best you got. We here, score Vikes, win, lose, or draw. The lone addition was Vera Tucker, which could be a big deal if he is ruled out for Sunday. The Jets will be without the entire right side of their offensive line. Oh, hey, man. Injuries suck, but hey, <laughs> beneficial to the Vikings. It is what it is. Then nobody feels sorry for the Vikings last year or this year when they had players out. Part of the game, part of the NFL, homie. You got to deal with it. You got to play through it. Friday's injury report could have nobody on it, just like it did in week one. So there was the injury report Thursday. Once again, shout out Alvin Pace Jr. for being back in full effect. Great news for the Vikings. Let's get into these week five NFL picks, dog. These week five. NFL pick. Let's get right into it. Give me a second. <laughs> get it all right. So you're already. Let's get it, man. Have you? Thursday night tonight. I'm finna go check that game out. Tampa Bay versus Atlanta. Give me Tampa Bay. Kirk in prime time. I don't care if they're playing in Atlanta. Give me Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, Baker Mayfield playing great football. I feel like the Bucs will put pressure on Kirk Cousins. He may even give him a, give, give him a pick or two, dog, period. Uh, New York Jets at Minnesota. You know what it is. London game. Cross the pond. Give me Minnesota. Give me Minnesota 28, 28 to 17. Carolina and Chicago, both teams suck trash. Give me Chicago. You give me Chicago. I feel like Chicago the better team. <clears throat> Chicago 24-17. Baltimore, Cincinnati. Oh man. Cincinnati looking questionable, very questionable at Cincinnati, though. Hmm. <laughs> Will Cincinnati prove themselves a big game, a must win? Hey, guess what, dog? Give me, give me uh, I don't know. I gotta go with Baltimore, dog. <laughs> Baltimore look good versus the Bruce. Give me Baltimore 2017. Miami at New England. Uh, both teams very questionable, not impressed. Uh, give me New England though at home. Give me New England 30. Nah, give me New England uh, 24, 24, 20. Dog. Cleveland at Washington. Washington on a hot streak on fire now. Jaden Daniels playing great football, great, great rookie season so far. I think they're going to keep that win streak going. Give me Washington dominating Cleveland 28 10. Indianapolis at Jacksonville, two teams who suck, who are trash ass. Jacksonville underachieving, but give me Jacksonville right here. Matter of fact, nah, give me the Colts right here, dog. Give me the Colts, 23-17. Buffalo at Houston might be a good game. Buffalo at Houston, but give me Houston, though. Yeah, give me Houston, 
to give me Houston 25, 22. Las Vegas at Denver. Las Vegas at Denver. Give me Denver. Give me Denver 17, 10. Dog. Las Vegas has a lot of confusion. You know, uh, Adams, Adams requesting to be traded. So it's a lot of turmoil there on the inside. Dog. Arizona at San Francisco. <laughs> give me San Francisco 30, 20. Green Bay at Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, woo, give me Green Bay. Give me Green Bay, dog. Give me Green Bay, dog. 25-20. New York Jets at Seattle. Seattle coming off a tough loss to the um to the Lions. They're gonna regroup at home, bounce back at home. Give me Seattle on a blowout 30-17. Dallas at Pittsburgh. Uh Pittsburgh. Yeah, give me Pittsburgh. 24-24-14, dog. Monday night, New Orleans at Kansas City. Um, finally, we get one game Monday night, which I think is better for the NFL, for the fans, etc. Give me Kansas City. You know, Rice is is he's on IR. That definitely will affect their offense in a negative way. But they got Mahomes, they got Reed, they got Kelsey. The, the Chiefs are still the Chiefs, dog. Got to got to dethrone them. You hear me, dog? I'm saying that's it. Give me Kansas City. Uh, let's say let's say 28, 24, dog. Those are my week five picks right there. That's simple. That plane don't need to dwell on it. Spend too much time on it. That's what it is, dog. <laughs> yeah. But great news for the Vikings. Shout out Ivan Pace Jr. once again. I'm sure he's gonna come in, contribute heavy, contribute heavy, heavy, and be the be the great player he is, dog. Period. Bottom line. Let me know how you feel about it. My week five picks. Thursday injury report. Let's get to it, man. Like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell. Make sure you hit that bell. Support the channel. Support the grind. Big skull here. Score Vikes level. Win, lose, and draw. Win, lose, or draw, dog. Heavy. <laughs> yeah.